Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Jen Nessler, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. The bride is reigning in glory and power. There is a clash of kingdoms. The kingdom of darkness is at war with the kingdom of light. We cannot be naive of the schemes of the devil whose end time agenda is to wear out the saints. Daniel 7.25 And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. It's imperative to enter true rest in order to withstand and to fight this war. Rest is not leisure or ceasing activity. Rest is not inaction. Rest is actively putting energy toward the things God has asked us to do and putting the brakes on the things he hasn't. Rest is focusing our attention on where we are graced to do. Rest is operating in what God is breathing on right now. Praise, peace, rest. These are the bride's weapons of war to battle against the fatigue and the weariness that come from an onslaught of the enemy's assaults. Praise is a weapon. Peace is a weapon. Rest is a weapon. 2 Corinthians 10.4 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. Jeremiah 6.16 That says, Thus says the Lord, Stand by the roads and look, and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is and walk in it, and find rest for your souls. This is a clash of kingdoms. There will be some that rise and some that fall, but the kingdom of God stands strong forever. A new era is here. It's time to break free from the constraints of man and the bonds of religion. Put to death the flesh, pride, and the shallow dead works. The bride of Christ is awakening with violent, ecstatic praise. It's time to bow down, kiss the sun. It's time for sons and daughters to rise up to take dominion and reign with Jesus. Do not fear. Embrace this new era. Embrace this clashing of kingdoms. Embrace the shakings of the Lord. We are kingdom activators, demonstrators, innovators. We unlock new blueprints from heaven, unleashing this new era of heaven invading earth. John 14, 12. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me, will also do the works that I do. Greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, that the bride, the bride of Christ, is waking up. The bride of Christ is stepping into her role here on earth. I thank you that we reign in life, in this world, in the land of the living, Father. Lord, give us a, a greater paradigm of that. Give us a greater understanding and wisdom Holy Spirit, give us a sensitivity to your calling, to your beckoning, that when you gently guide us left and right, we follow those paths. Lord, may we rest like this word says. May we put energy into the, the things toward God and what you have asked us to, what you haven't asked us to do, rather. Let's pump the brakes. Let's not try to work out of human effort. I thank you, Lord, that it's your glory and it's your power that you've given to us. May we steward it well. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.